Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing very well. This is the part two from the video 2019 year in review and I want to get this uploaded tonight because tomorrow will be 1st of January 2020. So I missed out a couple of little bits before I carry on and I forgot to mention back in April because I skipped to May by accident. Um, back in April as well, overnight, I got rushed into hospital in Fuerteventura, which didn't happen, not once, but twice. Which was in the May. So, yeah, I was also in hospital. And I had, at the time, kidney stones. So, so to firstly find out you got the dreaded C word... Then to find out that you've got kidney stones and you're in a lot of pain. And then I was backwards and forwards to the hospital here in England and then back and forth to Ventura. But while I was in England, they also said to me, they thought I had appendicitis, but after further tests, didn't. But I've been, I had more tests. So when May come round, um, as I said, saw one of my best mates, went to the new restaurants and all that. It was really nice. Um, at the time. And then, um, one night we had to take one of the workers to, um, to get some, because uh, he wasn't feeling too good, so we had to get some treatments. And I had a beer, but I also had chilli crisps, which I had a bit of a reaction to because I'm allergic to chillies. And then like a day or two later, I got put, I had to go back into hospital where my blood, my, uh, my blood count was all over the place. My blood alcohol levels were all over the place. I had literally zero iron in my system. I had no iron. Um, and of course one of my best friends got to see me so it was all good um, well, I was in hospital then and unfortunately the day as I was leaving I unfortunately got robbed out of the hospital by a nurse of 170 euros so I was like really like mortified that somebody could do that to somebody and yeah so yeah that was may um I had more tests done in the june came back on the 1st of july was intended to stay for a month i ended up staying for 24 days um, I can't go into the reason why because it was something to do with Tory that I had to come back to and only a few people know the situation about that which I'm not I won't reveal on camera because it's not nice um, but anyway I stayed with one of my best friends the same best friend who well true friend that came to visit me in the hospital um First met a lady called Joan and some of the crew at Sunsea Coletta who are like really, really nice people. Um, so yeah, um, also met Amanda and Jordan out of Revivals and uh, Mataku, Matt, Leanne out of the Kings and of course Rich, Kane and the gang from Flowers of Scotland. So it was all good. It was nice that I got to meet new friends and as well as <laughs> staying with my true friend, which was all good. Um, then August, I had more chemo and I went to Norwich to see my friend Sam, which was really, really good because we always plan to see each other at least once or twice a year, which is really, really nice. And... 
it was a godsend for me to see Sam and we spent time together. We actually spent a few days together. And um, I also went to Norwich because um, I wasn't like 100% sure, but I was like 75% certain that I was going to be diagnosed with fibromyalgia. But I wanted to talk to somebody who I knew that I could trust that was diagnosed with the condition just a couple of months previous and she explained to me like all the symptoms and how, and I got the same symptoms um stuff like that and she she was near enough certain that I also got it but also around that time as well um I had a bad fall and hurt my left side which is the same left side that the year previous, I was involved in a car accident and I'm still getting pain down the left side. And I've also, because um, I'm on crutches now to even to this day, um, before I found out I had the fibromyalgia, um, I also found out that in basically a year or two, I'd have to have another, I, I would have to have another knee, re another knee replacement because, um, at the age of 17, I had started having problems with my left knee. At age 19, I had uh, my knee replacement surgery. And now my left knee is basically F-U-C-K-E-D. <laughs> so anyway, two weeks after I visited Sam, um, I unfortunately was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Now, some of the tablets that they have with the fibromyalgia, I can't take. They've tried me on the Proxen, they've tried me on all sorts of different tablets associated with um, fibromyalgia. But there's only one tablet that seems to work for me. And it's these. It's sort of like, it eases the pain, but it doesn't like... Because there's no cure for fibromyalgia and I won't get rid of it. But it just like eases the pain so I can live day to day life and this is how it's going to be controlled. Um, I'm on these tablets. I don't know if you can see them. These are tramadol. I, at first I was taking 50 milligrams in the morning. Well, it was 37.5. Then it went up to 50. Um, then it went to 50 in the morning, 50 at night, still no change. As soon as they up my tablets to 100 milligrams, which is 250 in the morning and 250 at night. I took the first 50 this morning, so I'm doing these ones tonight. Um, I'm starting to like get a balance. So I know now that it's I'm on the right levels. I've got to take um hundred milligrams of a morning, hundred milligrams of a night. So anyway, um, flashback a few weeks after that, um, I has to go to hospital for another um results, um, basically like. It's like the second week in September. I actually found out I was diagnosed with epilepsy. So that wasn't good at all. And they've basically said to me, I'm going to end up having If I carry on stressing out the way that I get stressed out, by the time I'm 40, I'm going to have a stroke. So it's it's not good to hear. Um, then I went back to Fuerteventura. Um but meanwhile, I also found out some good news from one of my best friends, my true friend. Um, not going to reveal it. Um, so he told me the good news. Like, it was like back in July. July. He told me the first part of the news. Then I found out the second part, end of September. Which I was right all along, so I was like so happy, and I and 
I am really happy. Um, and then, um, to be honest, I didn't really, between the last two Fuerteventura holidays, I didn't really have a good holiday. The first, when I was away for the month, I got told, I got a phone call on the third day I arrived, this was back in July, I'm going back but because I've just remembered, um, from someone I know very, very well, I got a phone call to basically say, hey Skylar, um, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but um, one of your so-called friends called Tammy um, basically has been saying that you're a stranger, um, you this, that and the other and she was the one that basically grasped up to such and such a person to tell such and such a person over phones. So I was like, wow. But the person that told me we're really good friends to this day, so it's all good. Um, and then I got told by somebody else that it wasn't just her, it's been a few other people. Um, she just, um, and then I got told that I just come into a certain place uh, just to use them for cups of teas and stuff like that. Like, not being funny or not, I'm right. If you've got no money and you've got points on your card to get a cup of tea, you're going to use that points. And if somebody's going to offer you a drink out of kindness, you're going to, like, oblige. But because I obliged, I got called a scrounger. So, anyway, back to, like, September on to the other part of the news. Um, Little things have been going on for, like, a while. And I'm still getting threatened about this to this day. So basically, in no uncertain terms, I got messages out the blue to say, look, uh, such and such a person's using you, they've had you over for such and such a thing, whatever. Um, and then basically... Somebody, who, well, not my friend anymore. I don't think they were my friend uh, since, like, May. Uh, basically, he was, like, going on to me, or oh, go, go to the police, uh, get them done, and get your money back and stuff like that. And I'm like, no. But they were like, because of me being having awareness of phase, and sometimes I'm a bit vulnerable, they sort of, at the time, got it into my head that they were right and everybody else is wrong. So, like, the day when this is supposed to, uh, well, like, the day before this is supposed to have happened, I got a phone call from, who's now my true friend, so we could discuss this and, they basically said, were you planning on going to the police? And I said, I said, I don't know. I said, because they've got it in my head that I should go to the police. It's blah, blah, blah. But somehow, by talking to my true friend and basically having a conversation where, like, I'm getting upset and stuff like that and... Re event actually realizing. Wait, hang on a minute. Why should I go to the police station? I'm not a fucking grass, for starters. Um, I'm in a lot of pain.